Hey everyone, welcome back to Scrummy. I've got a really simple and easy recipe for you today and these are beautiful. I'm making rock buns. They're also called rock cakes. A rock bun basically has dried fruit in it, some spice, mixed peel. My mum made these all the time when I was small. She loved making them, they were one of her favourite recipes. Rock buns are actually an English recipe even though many of us think they're Irish. These were made widely during World War I and World War II because they were so cheap to make. Ingredients like butter, sugar and eggs were rationed. Recipes like this one didn't have a lot of those ingredients in them. So that's why people were encouraged to make them. Alright everyone, let's make rock buns. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to place some flour into a medium sized bowl. And into this I'm going to add in some baking powder, a little salt, and I'm just going to mix this together. Now I'm going to add in some butter. I like to freeze my butter and I grate it. It's easier to mix in and you get a better rise too. So just get all that in there and rub it in until you have like a rough breadcrumb consistency. And that's perfect, we want it just like that. Okay, so in here I'm gonna add in some sugar, a little nutmeg, the nutmeg is optional, but I do like it in it. And I'm gonna add in some mixed spice. You can use cinnamon either. Just mix that in there. Now for the dried fruit, I'm adding sultanas. You can add raisins either. I do prefer sultanas to raisins though and some mixed peel. This is optional, but it is one of the ingredients that is in this recipe. I really do like it, but if you don't like it, you can just leave it out and add a little extra fruit instead. So get all that mixed in together. Okay, next up is the egg, and I like to beat it before I add it. And mix it in before we add the milk. Okay, so I've mixed in the egg all in there and I'm gonna add some milk. You only need a small amount of milk for this recipe, so I'm just gonna add a little milk and I'm gonna keep adding it until I get the right texture. You want a stiff texture for these. So I'm gonna add about half of that and see how we get on. Okay, I think I'm happy with that and you want a nice stiff consistency, just like that. Look at that. That's perfect. All right, let's get these onto a baking tray now. So let's just mention the baking tray. You need a large one. I need to cover it in grease proof paper or parchment paper. Just to mention, I actually buy these silicone mats. They're reusable. You can wash them and they come up perfect. I have a set for baking and also have a set for if I'm cooking bacon or sausage in the oven. They're brilliant. A great investment if you don't have them already. Okay, so let's get our rock buns onto our baking tray. Now I'm making about eight today. So you want about, I suppose about that much. So we'd start off with that. If we need to add extra, we will. They're called rock buns because of their irregular shape. So don't flatten them out or smooth them or anything. And now to finish off, I'm just gonna sprinkle over a little sugar on top of each of them. And there you have them, all done. These are going to take about 10 to 15 minutes in the oven and all the temperatures will follow in the next slide. Okay, let's get them into the oven now. All right, everyone, they're fully baked. Just look at them, they're a beautiful golden color, smell amazing and there's a lovely rise on them too. Everything we want in a rock bun. We're just gonna let these cool now for about 20 minutes and then we'll try them. These have cooled down enough now, so I'm going to break one open so you can see what they're like inside. These are lovely and crispy, and they've got a nice golden bottom. The texture of these is more dense than a scone. The scone is flakier and softer, and these are a lot crumblier as well. So you can see the inside of that there, and it's packed with fruit and beautiful spices. Smell amazing and taste delicious. I really hope you try them. These go really well with butter. We always had them with butter. Nice on their own as well with a cup of tea. All right, everyone, that's it for today's video. And I hope you try out these rock buns or rock cakes. They are amazing and you're gonna love them. Thanks so much for watching. 
please subscribe and follow my page if you haven't already and we'll see you all soon i'm gonna have one of these with a cup of tea now bye bye see you soon